As you can see, man, I picked up the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch one, and the Apple Pencil 2. It's not in these boxes, by the way. I already unboxed it. This is just for the B roll. But, you know, this might be one of the hardest challenges I tried on this channel yet because I'm going to try to use the illustration app Procreate for the first time ever. I never used this app before, but I'm going to attempt to draw one of my characters on it. So, let me get something set up first, though. So I picked up this drawing glove as well. I'm not sponsored by the way, but hopefully this will make it a little bit easier to draw. Anyway though, man, you know, it's time to draw on the screen. I'm gonna pick up my pencil. Now this is, this is the first day with it. So, you know, I'm gonna just practice like taking notes and stuff. I'm not even going into drawing yet. Let me just get used to writing on the screen because this feels so weird, I'm not gonna lie. So day two with the iPad, you know, I think I got a better feel for the Apple Pencil now. Let me just get rid of these um, fingerprints. I did have um, a screen protector on it initially. It was the paper, like, it's the screen protector that makes the screen feel like paper, but I ended up taking it off. I didn't like, I didn't like how it felt when I wasn't like using the Apple Pencil when I was just like scrolling with my finger and everything. So I ended up taking it off and finally I'm gonna hop into Procreate and I'm gonna just be drawing directly on the screen. You know, it's kind of slippery, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Listen, I, I ran into a huge problem initially. I was just trying to like draw anything, do some scribbles, but I couldn't see like the pencil strokes at all. They were like super faint. Let me hold it up to the screen, but you can see like you gotta like squint to see it. But I was using the technical pencil brush. I was adjusting the size too, but um, I watched a tutorial though. I have to link it in the description, but I just had to change the pressure and sensitivity in the settings. And listen, now I can see the pencil strokes. So now we gotta, you know, we gotta figure something out with this, but let me, let, let me just get a feel for it first. Listen, this is, this is kind of crazy though, how I can pick up on the pressure and the tilt of the pencil and everything. But I, I was just playing around with stuff, but listen, I might, I might have to make the full transition to digital. I'm one step closer to starting a full drawing. I just need to practice with the colors. I just need to practice with those. Now I normally use markers on paper. Markers are my preferred medium. I, I wasn't even thinking I'm gonna have to learn how to blend on here too you know I was, I was just worried about the drawing on the screen but I wasn't even thinking of that but it's gonna be like so much stuff I'm gonna have to learn you know opening this I knew I was gonna have to learn a lot but I wasn't even thinking of like all the different brushes there is I didn't even touch on like the layers either too I gotta learn that hey but listen I, I feel like I'm making some progress here and there so I'm about ready to start my first drawing let me just get I had to learn like the little tips and stuff. I had to learn the tricks. I watched a couple of tutorials, so I gotta try this at least once. All right, but anyway, it's time for my first sketch. I'm gonna try to draw this like, I don't know, a blocky character. I just wanted it to be light, loose, nothing too serious, but let me see how this comes out, man. We gotta, we gotta hop right into it. I'm, I'm gonna try to apply what I just learned. You can see that I just wanted to do something fun, something fun and light. But anyway, we all move on to the main event. You know, I'm gonna attempt to draw one of my characters, full sketch coloring and everything on Procreate on the iPad. So I'm gonna hop right into it and see if this is gonna work out for me. But man, I'm treating this how I would a normal drawing when I do my normal drawing of characters on paper. I'm gonna handle the sketch first, you know, handle the rough sketch. Then I'm planning on inking this, and then later I'm gonna add the color to it. The sketches, you know, this is gonna be tough. Like, it, it, it is still like weird for me drawing on like directly on the screen. It does, it does feel weird. It doesn't feel like the paper. Now, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have took off the, the screen protector. I might have to add that back on, not gonna lie. Listen, I am loving digital art though, man. I am loving it. Best things definitely, obviously it's the undo button and being able like to zoom into your drawings. You know, I can just, I, I can just pinch the screen and go in and make the little tiny details and everything. I'm gonna go crazy with that. Anyway, the last little details need to be added into the sketch. You know, I gotta show you, I gotta show you what it's looking like so far. But this is the, re it's crazy. It actually does look like I'm using pencils and everything. It's like, no, I don't know, that's nuts to me. But anyway, I forgot to actually record the ink and so I'm gonna use like the quick time-lapse procreate video for this part. You can see it right here, this is the inking, but 
Let me let me record this small little addition first. I'm gonna show you the inking. So you can see, man, I got the inking together for my guy. Let me put this up here real quick. And let me just give you like a close up. You know, a little close up of the inking. But now, man, we gotta go to the hardest part, the most difficult part, which is probably gonna be adding the color. You know, we I, I don't know which brush I'm gonna use. I'm I'm gonna treat this how I would color with my markers. Now I tried to use the marker, the marker brush they have on here, but it didn't like, it doesn't behave like the markers that I use, the alcohol markers. So I, I picked out a random brush and just hoping for the best. You know, we're making some progress, some good progress. Like I said, I, I love this digital art, like everything about it so far. I do, I do really miss like the ASMR sounds though, when you're using like paper or you're like using markers on a canvas. I, I kind of miss that. just now realizing too i'm not gonna have to like clean up anything like i don't gotta put my markers away and stuff i, I just gotta close the app it was kind of wild but anyway let me do just a little recap of the journey so far you know learning the tips and tricks the basics i still got i still got a lot more progress to make on my deuce i'm gonna hop right back into this we gotta see how this guy comes out Anyway, I'm getting close to the finish line. I'm gonna throw up the Procreate time-lapse video too and go straight into the review. Anyway though, man, you can see how it looks. I'm just playing around with layers here, like hiding some, adding others, but I had a lot of fun doing this. I got a lot to learn, obviously, but Wow, I'm definitely gonna do more digital art. This is my favorite layer right here, just the inking without the color, but I'm definitely gonna do more digital art stuff. I had so much fun. I should have started that sooner, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. New videos coming, so please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm out, man.